So we have another Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing. In this case, it is the Avatar Tomed, which is the Resistance's Fuel Tool uh, Organized Play Event Month 1 prize ship. Okay, so we have the contents of the Avatar Tomed. First is the ship itself. Uh, so it's just the Derrick's class ship, and it's got some assimilation painting on it. Again, several colors. It looks... Uh, I still like the assimilation job. Um, it's not bad. It's got several colors. It's very, very cool looking. Let's go over the cards. Uh, Borg Alliance. Very nice card. Um, so you get an elite talent for five points. Add a Borg upgrade slot to your upgrade bar. This is the game. Plays four drone tokens on your captain card. And this upgrade may only be purchased for a non-Borg ship with a non-Borg captain. So basically it turns your ship into a Borg ship. Here's the movement chart. Basic standard Derek's class. Hive mind for one point action. Disable this card in any number of your other upgrades. Add one drone token to your captain card for each card you disabled with this action. You cannot exceed the captain's starting number of drone tokens, and you cannot deploy more than one hive mind to any ship. So, as you get your tokens back for dis disabling your other cards, um, standard captain. Crewman Vox. After rolling your dice for any reason, you may discard this card to re-roll one of those dice. After rolling your dice for any reason, you may disable this card and spend two of your drone tokens to re-roll one of those dice. So basically, this is a universal re-roll uh, for four points. Uh, so even things like a warp core breach die could be re-rolled or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, Solid Trail. Uh, this is the Romulan captain at the start of the game. After setup, choose one faction for the rest of the game during each combat phase. If a ship of that faction is in your forward firing arc, treat your captain skill as 10. So, not a bad ability. 3 points, 5 captain skill, and an elite talent. That's not a bad ability. So, you get to fire first a lot of the time. Of course, captain skill doesn't even guarantee firing first either. Uh, standard plasma torpedoes. Here is the Romulan Avatar Tomed. Um, so you can roll one attack die to, to and suffer one hull damage. So, uh, other than that, it's just your standard Dedaric class ship with three weapon slots. Interesting. I don't know why you'd want three weapon slots on it. Uh, the generic Romulan Dedaric class. Here is the Romulan and Borg version of the Avatar Tomen. So it's got an extra shield and an extra attack, which is nice. So it's an upgunned um, Dedaric class. You can perform a cloak action, you may immediately perform a regeneration action as a free action. And if you do, you cannot attack that round. So it doesn't have the regenerate um, on the uh, action bar, so, but you can do it whenever you do a cloak. Um, and it's Romulan or Borg. It has a Borg upgrade slot. Um, tech, three weapons, and a crew. So that's a very nice upgrade for the Dedaris class ship itself, getting four attack and that extra shield. And here's the generic version of it. So tokens, you get drone tokens. You get the four tokens to go with the um, uh, uh, Borg Alliance. There's class ships. So you're actually going to get two ship tokens, or uh, base tokens, one for each kind. One for the Romulan Borg, one for the Romulan only. And you got moving dials and nothing too exciting, and of course, captain tokens. So that's it for the contents of the uh, Avatar Tomen. It's actually a really good ship. A uh, very um, nice uh, version of the Daedarius class for Romulan. Um, if you want to go with the hybrid ship or dual faction ship. And it's uh, not a bad um, third name to Daedarius class if you want to go just pure Romulan. So that's it for this video. Talk to you guys later.